previously, on Waldwick Elimination Season 7. Cabby became our last person eliminated this season. Now, we are down to the final two. Finally, we have another finale against a boy and a girl. After one whole season of females not making the final two, it has finally happened again. So, who is going to win season 8? Is it going to be Penn, or the party girl Pinata? Time to find out, on today's final episode of, Waldwick Elimination, Season 7. Finally, one of our buddies made the final two. This is so amazing. I mean, I didn't expect Piñata to make it all the way here. Tell me about it. I'm so happy for Piñata making the final two. I mean, we didn't expect that when we watched the results on TV. Well, I honestly think both of these players did a good job. I mean, I think the pen is awesome too. If you know what I mean. I must say, I'm surprised to see the voice actor of Cookie and Pinata here. I must say, I am so excited to see you here Rebecca. Say, why aren't you sitting next to Cookie? Well, I forgot to buy tickets ahead of time, since I had some stuff to do. And you guys bought seats ahead of time, since you guys knew about it before me. I honestly think I should have done that earlier, since I would have a high chance to sit next to Cookie. Sorry to hear that. Say, I think Grayson did the same when he bought tickets for him and Langby. Red bought tickets for me, but Grayson bought one on his own. Since the seats are assigned, it's kind of hard to fit the voice actors in. So, seating is usually decided on the person. I mean, at least the event is local. I am very happy for some of these players. However, I still have one more person coming. I heard that he wanted to come, since he really wanted to cheer on Piñata. Hey Lampy, nice to see you again. I am so ready to watch Piñata win. Can I switch sides? Hey H20, nice to see you again. Yeah, it's been a long time. What's been popping? Nothing much. I must say, I'm happy to be here. I mean, Piñata is someone I've been rooting for in the game. Go root for Penny Water like baby. Just leave me alone for once. Wow. You're so mean. Well, you don't deserve to be here. You're so annoying. Why did Red invite you in the first place? That's not nice, Lampy. I invited Watery, so he can watch the finale with us. Do you want to embarrass Piñata when her name gets called? Fine. But only this once. Oh my gosh. Pen made the finale. This is so cool. I am also happy that Piñata made it too, because she looks so lovely. I feel like dating her right now. Okay, that was gross. Tablet Ben, why are you saying that out loud? You are underage. You ruin everything Penny. Why do you always disagree with all of my opinions? You're 11. Piñata's 15. You're way too young for her. Well, how come Romeo married Juliet at age 16, while Juliet was 13? That's a novel, and that was laws back then. Plus, you're 11, and you need to find someone to date your age. Tablet pen, Penny. Stop por favor. Your hermano is about to be introduced, and you two arguing all the time isn't helping. And tablet pen, your sister is right. You need to date someone around the same age. If I catch you dating someone way older, or way younger, you're gonna ground it for a whole week, without the access of your PS5. Okay, I'll stop mom. But Piñata is still hot. Mommy, can I talk to the boy with the green hair? He looks like someone I saw from school. Maybe after the show. I think it's better for you to watch your bro first. Well, Squirt, I'm happy that you're interested in talking to that boy. Me and Blocky know this guy really well. Grassy likes to talk to other people, especially us, since we get along with him very well. Oh, Mr. Snowball, 
I must say, your dialogue in part 2 was really great. I think you pulled off a good move. Oh, I, um, yeah, I guess you're right, Squirt. I did have some good dialogue. Well, hey, what are you going to do about it? Oh, that's cool. You just repeated your new quote. I'll get used to it. It was only for that episode. Are you excited for the finale, Grassy? I mean, Ben is one of your favorite players so far. Grassy is really excited. Grassy loves Pin so much that Grassy made a sign for him after the show. Grassy Sorry, really I'm late excited. to the party. Grassy loves Pin My bus so much was a little late, Grassy and we got stuck in traffic. After the show. Grassy That's is really fine, excited. Freya. Coin Grassy is late loves too. Pin so much However, that I Grassy honestly think he's probably doing something to prepare Grassy for the show. Really oh well, let's watch Grassy the finale and see so what happens. That Grassy made a sign for him after the show. Grassy is really excited. Grassy loves Pin so much that. Gr Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the season seven finale of Global Elimination. I'm our enemy. Your announcer for tonight. Let's welcome back our recent champion. Please welcome the Season 6 champion, Nick. Now, let's bring back your co-host from the season. We have the meme making machine, Michelle McNewston, and the Star Wars loving animator, Miliminator! And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Doing it for seven seasons in his career. Your vote! of Waldwick Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the season 7 finale of Waldwick Elimination. We made to the end of the 7th season, and we are so excited about this show continuing. We thank everyone who had been voting, watching, and sharing stuff like this among their peers. Right now, let's talk to the Season 6 Champion. Note, because of the new champions coming in, the 5 champions from the first 6 seasons will not appear in Seasons 8 or 9 either. They will join the other champs in Season 10, and Season 15, but that's literally it. So, thanks for understanding. So Nick, how's it going ever since you competed in Season 6 a few months ago? Really amazing Waldwick. I must say. I am happy I am a champion. Ever since season 6 happened, I moved to my mom's estate in Michigan. I have also finally found a lover, named Takumi Ashido. He's went through a similar situation as mine. He also works as a waiter at a local restaurant called Wings Galore. At least my father isn't near anything of this, since Eli is not willing to move up to Michigan, to just hassle me out of the house. Any prediction on who should win? Both of them are really good, however, I like Pinata more. We need more girl champs, since we already have many male champions already. While, Nick, and the co-hosts calculate the votes, let's take a sneak peek at what Season 8 will look like. It will be newcomers yet again, however, our animate will most likely decide this group. However, for Season 9, you will be selected all the players. So, don't be surprised on whoever our animate chooses, since he will come up with good players. That what we decided on. Alright, let's get back into action. Alright, have all the votes been calculated? We are all set. Alright, thanks for stopping by. I am so happy that you got the chance to show up yet again. We will see you after the show. Alright, now it's time to introduce our two finalists. Let's start off with the female finalist, who worked so hard to get here, joining in episode 11, and survived the triple elimination, alongside our other finalist. Please welcome, the party girl from the OG series, Pinata. Yeah. Come on Pinata. Go, go. Come on Pinata. You can do this. Win it for me. Alright, now let's welcome back our other finalist. 
he has competed in Seasons 1, 5, and this season, placing 8th in Season 1, and 12th in Season 5. Give a warm welcome, to the BFB contestant, Penn. Good luck. Welcome to the finale you two. We are so happy for you for making it this far. First, please wish each other good luck before we begin. Good luck Piñata. I hope this finale ends up being awesome. Good luck as well. I hope this finale ends up being fantastic. Alright, let's begin. To start off, we got a total of 64 votes in the voting. Thanks so much for the big amount guys. Alright, there will be a star in the air. Like last season, the person who gets the star, wins the game. So, the winner, of Waldwick Elimination, with a whopping 50 votes, compared to a small 14, is going to be... Congratulations Penn. You're the winner of the seventh season of Waldwick Elimination. You have competed three times, and have finally won. You are also the fourth person, from the first season, to win a season. Congratulations yet again. Wait. I did it? I won season seven? Oh my gosh. It's a miracle. I won season seven. Yes. You know what? I don't care. Second place is still amazing. I am so happy I got to compete and play again. I honestly think I did my best, and I'm happy to make it all the way. Pen. You did it. You finally won a season. You always wanted to do this. Thanks so much for winning for me and your friends. Thanks Freya. I honestly think I wouldn't make it all the way here. I mean... I am so happy the viewers were very supportive with me, and some of the other players. I hope another one of my buddies wins sometime soon. Although, Coiny never shown up. I guess he's probably battling traffic, or maybe something else. Alright Pen, congrats on winning Season 7. Time for your three awards. The first reward is always. You get an entire copy of the season. Good to watch with your friends. Good thing that these are magical, so you'll get this episode on your tape as well. The second reward is, you get a brand new Waldwick Elimination Outfit. It indicates you as a champion. Great job Pen. Alright, here's your final award. You get your one million dollars. You are, the responsible one, Pen. You truly are. This is truly exciting. Now I can finally help Freya with her family. And me and guys can finally go to Norway to visit some of SB's family. Oh my gosh. This is so amazing. Thank you so much for watching this season everyone. I must say, I'm happy we made it to 7 seasons already. We already have 7 winners already, and we are happy to continue on and add more champions. Right now, we are witnessing Penn with his 1 million dollars. Alright. Season 8 will not be out until December, so you will have to wait a long time for that to come out. This is Waldwick, signing off. Have a great rest of the summer everyone. Get
swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin. You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good, kind of everything, yet it doesn't feel like it should. You make me feel kind of wrong, kind of right, kind of anything, and I would change it if I could, could, I have finally arrived. I finally have my pen cosplay on, and I am ready to root for him. Wait. Where the heck is everyone? Oh, hey kid. You talking about the finale? Oh, that ended just about 3 hours ago. It ended at 7 p.m. Bye. Uh -huh.